think it's been a while since Stravia has had to fight this hard to beat guards. Um, I guess just watching him work through that today, how you think he did? Uh, you know, I was proud of him. Uh, proud of our guys for working through a gritty game like this. Um, it's it's not untypical of a Penn State game. It's not what we didn't expect. Uh, I thought it would be very much like it happened. Um, certainly frustrating. Um, we're going to go back on this film and look at it and learn a lot from it and grow from it and uh, pull our hair out from it. But uh, we kept swinging away. And like you said, whether it was trade or the offense or the defense, just across the board, I thought we were gritty. We, we didn't we didn't panic. Uh, we kept swinging, and that's what these games are going to take. And uh, you know, now in the second half of the season, we're two and zero. That was the goal. The goal was just to win the game. We weren't trying to get style points in a game against Penn State. That's not how it works. I mean, you got to just win the game, and uh, we did that. Kicked some field goals, didn't convert down the red zone, um, but you know, we, keep, we, didn't, we didn't go away from the run game. Like you said, we kept working at it. And it was great to see us kind of squirt some there in the second half. And when there's like, a lot of penalties, a lot of penalties that yeah. on the offensive line, did CJ? Same thing in the moment? Sure, yeah, a lot of people are saying things. Uh, we got to do a better job there. Um, you know, early on, you know, we, we, I think I don't know if it was jitters or what it was, but we kind of got jammed up there and just, uh, you know, and then in that last drive there, whatever that drive was, uh, we had a couple double counts that the guy jumped, and it's unacceptable. Well, we got to do a better job with that for sure if we're going to uh, continue. Uh, guys, we've got to hold the questions to one because we got a lot of people that want to ask. Uh, right next door, uh, Bill Landis, The Athletic. Brian, um, <clears throat> CJ misses what looks like a pretty easy pitch and catch for Chris. Trey had that costly false start, but he kept going back to those guys in multiple big positions late yeah. in the game. Like, how does that trust with those two playmakers kind of a here over the course of the year? You can't flinch. And in games like this, I've, I've been in there. I've been there before where all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you flinch and you, you start to get nervous. And that's not the way we're going to play. I mean, you know, guys are going to make mistakes and we got to just keep moving on. Now, we got to we gotta learn from those because if we clean those things up, you know, I don't, I don't know what the score looks like, you know, but. Um, you know, we've got to do a better job in those areas. You know, I think we'll look back and, and see that uh, you know, we made some mistakes that uh, are going to cost us in other games. But that being said, we still did those things, worked through those things, and still got the win. That's what I'm proud of. Uh, fourth row middle, uh, Jared Smalley, WCMH. All right. um, CJ just told us that he noticed at times Penn State was calling out some of the plays, that they kind of had that, they had that insight. So he comes over. Is there is that communication that happens on the sideline, and how do you react to that information? That's very. I mean, that's that's something that happens uh, just about in every game. You know, they have certain tendencies, and, and they'll call things out. And sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, and um, that's all. That's all part of it. Um, you know, they call run, and sometimes they're right. You know, sometimes they call pass, and they're right. Um, and, and we, have, you know, we do have tendencies, and, um, but that's that's what also makes the play action work, and the navy works, and different things like that. So. Um, you know, I, I think they did a really good job. They had a very good plan coming in, and uh, you can tell they worked hard on it because uh, gave us a bunch of looks that we hadn't uh, quite prepared for. Uh, we we expected that. You know, we, we knew we were weren't just going to get base defense, and I think they maybe played it just a few snaps. I mean, they were coming every snap, and um, that's what we're going to get when you're high explosive offense. These guys are going to come after you, and uh, we're going to handle that a little better. Uh, over to the right, Clay Hall, WSYX. Defense ran hot and cold, but you got some sacks and you got a defensive touchdown. Uh, Jerron Cage, the speed factor. <laughs> yeah, the ball security was like, you know, he's carrying it like a little bread. But, uh, it was great to see him running down the field. I mean, this is a guy who's been through in this program. Uh, he's been through a lot. I'm very proud of Jerron, but uh, how about the play by Zach and, and Tyreek to, you know, get that ball out of there. The play by Cam Brown on the double move with Dotson was, was tremendous play. I mean, that's competitive excellent right there. Uh, and it was good to see our defense play like they did. I mean. You know, we did some good things on offense, but defense won this game, in my opinion. And I thought they played gritty, they played hard, they got two turnovers. And, uh, you know, if our defense can play like they did tonight, we got a chance to be really good. Uh, second row middle, Rob Baller, Columbus Dispatch. You had fourth and short late. Once you made it, once you didn't, could have had field goals. Mm -hmm. How much of that is just your personality? You always talk about being aggressive. Is that who you are? And how much of it is showing that trust in the offense and the guys? A little bit of both. Um, you know, I felt like certainly we had to keep the field goal at the end to make it a two-score game, um, and then we, we were going to go for it on the one, and then Trey, you know, um, you know, fell out of his shoes a little bit there, and then we decided to kick the field goal. I thought the fourth and two we had the right play on at that time on that hash that the down the distance was actually set up. I think it was fourth and two, and uh, you'll have to look at the film and see what happened. But it kind of played out similar to what we thought, and just didn't connect on it. Uh, over here, front row right, Austin Ward, Letterman row. Right, it seemed like you know times. Throw that CJ missed, and Trayvon maybe some holes he would have wanted to hit differently, or 
with some of the snaps, like some of the freshman mistakes. Like, they haven't played a lot of close games. I guess you'd rather learn from a win than a loss. But did you notice that? And how impressed are you with the way they handled that? Um, I, I thought we, we kept swinging. And that's, that's, we didn't have it our heads down or anything like that. And, um, you know, in the, in the moments like that, you kind of rely on some of the older guys to kind of help out and uh, to, to see Chris make that big touchdown. Um, you know, and that, that kind of broke things a little bit for us because, like you said, we were we were a little rigid there for a while. We couldn't quite get going, um, and that kind of helped us out a little bit. We started playing more confidence after that. Uh, but it, it's different than it was early in the season, where you know guys can start doubting themselves. I don't think you saw any of that coming out. Um, we knew it was going to. They're, they're good defense. I mean, they're one of the top defenses in the country. Give up 14 points a game, and they've always been that way. They, they've been playing for a long time. A veteran group back there, and so um, we, we kind of expected some of this. What we didn't expect was, like you said, some of those penalties. And just you know, lack of execution. But um, when you're playing against better competition, you got to be on point. The little things show up, and uh, so awesome to learn from and still get the win. Right next door, Nathan Barrett, Cleveland, Cleveland.com. You talked this week about the pressure you expected to get from Kent State. I guess just what did you think of the offensive line's response to that? And I guess CJ's response to that. Well, I, I think when you're playing against a style of defense like that, you're you're high risk, high reward. So there's going to be plays where um, you know you can get yourself. Uh, off schedule, and certainly with the penalties, we got ourselves off schedule, which that, that really bothers me. Uh, but then you also get some big hits, like we did on the big play to Chris. We got a big run by Trey, um, and that's kind of a, a herky jerky game, and it gets a team like us sometimes a little bit out of rhythm. And so you know, we got to go, go back and, and think about in, in games like that how we can do a better job of getting in rhythm. Got right in the middle, Steve Hellwagon, 24 7 Sports. Yeah, Coach, you guys got this one out, and you don't have time to celebrate or anything. You're going back on the road next week. Yep. Four games left in four weeks. You saw Michigan State won today. Um, just your thought about what this next four weeks is going to be like, and I know you can't get one game at a time. That's exactly right. It's, it's a great, great question. I think when you look at the college football right now, it's, it's about surviving and moving on, um, especially with, with the teams that we're playing. And that's all we can, folk, we can worry about. Um, and you know we're playing some really good teams here moving forward, uh, going on the road next week. It's going to be a big challenge for us because you got to bring it every week, and and I think that's um, what you're seeing across the board. The guys who do bring it every week are being rewarded, and we got we got to do that. We got to keep doing it. And it's one game seasons. It's it's March Madness, and uh, you win, you survive, you move on. And that's that's where we're at right now. And uh, we have to bring it every week because a lot of these teams are, are dangerous and capable of beating us. Um, but. When, again, I just, you know, a couple of things I, I just thought of before, um, you know, we finish up, Gary, it was just, I, I want to thank, uh, you know, just Buckeye Nation, the student section, um, you know, half an hour before the game, it was a packed house. Uh, the student section was rocking. Uh, the whole red out scenario was great. You know, uh, everybody involved with that, and Gene Smith and the administration, I, I thought it was tremendous. Our guys were really excited about that. And, and the crowd was excellent. I mean, they were into it the whole game. No, that was a, that was a great atmosphere, you know. I mean, I can't sit here and tell you that I enjoyed the whole game because uh, it wasn't that way for me. But but I know we're going to sit back and, and uh, you know enjoy this tonight because it was a wonderful atmosphere and you know, one of the best atmospheres in our college football right here in Columbus. And uh, what a game, what a win! And I'm, and I'm proud of you know, everybody involved. And I hope that everyone had a good time because uh, it was one great atmosphere. We got time for just a couple more folks. I want to be able to get some uh, players in here. Bill Rabinowitz, front row, Columbus Dispatch. Right. First, why do you think the run game struggled as much as it did early in the game? And in hindsight, do you think you look back at this as a game that it was good that you had a struggle like this after the last month you've had? Maybe, yeah, maybe. And I think a couple of guys already mentioned that to me that maybe this is a good thing. Um, but that being said, when you look at the, the stat sheet, you know, almost 500 yards of total offense against a very good defense. To me, if you finish off these drives in the red zone, it looks a lot different. Maybe we just say it was a tough, gritty game. And, we got 33, you score a couple more points, maybe you're in the mid 40s where we should be. So, um, against good defenses, you know, if we can get in the 500 yard range, then, then we're okay. To me, it's about four points on the board. But, but to answer your question, I think the answer is yes. And the run game? Yes. I mean, the struggles with the run game. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, I guess what do we end up running for? Um, you know, yeah, just under 200 yards, I guess. Um, and so, you know, we want to be at 250, so we're a little short there. but. But again, when you're going against a good defense like this, that's how it goes. You know, you don't just go down the field and score every possession. That's not how it works. But 
um, doing a better job on third down and doing a better job in the red zone is how you convert and score points in big games like this. And we could have done a better job tonight. Far left, Adam Rittenberg, ESPN. Hey, Ron, you mentioned the, the defense. What's enabled you guys to be making more plays on that side of the ball since early in the season? I, I just, I honestly think it's experience, but I, but I also think we've done a good job with, with some, some of the schemes and changing up the looks for the quarterback. And we have to keep doing that. We have to stay a step ahead of, of everybody we play. Um, but but guys are, are you starting to see guys make plays who um, maybe you guys didn't know about about a month ago, um, and you're seeing guys show up. So it's um, it's a lot of confidence that's been built to me over the last couple of months. And final question behind me, Pete Thamel, uh, Yahoo. Ryan, you said you're not into style points and you're in a March Madness mode. Uh, you know, college football playoff standings come out Tuesday. What should people make of these Buckeyes and Clemson? Yeah, well, I think when you when you look at a game like this, uh, you know, uh, Penn State to me. Is, you know, one of the better defenses in the country and a really strong team year in and year out. And I think this is a gritty win. And, and to win the way we did, not even playing our best ball and converting down the red zone, that, I think it, it says a lot about where we are and, uh, and how well we played over the last month. And I think uh, you can see this thing building. But with the teams that we're about to play, you know, over the next month, um, as long as we keep building and staying strong, then I think our body works and it speaks for itself.